This is amazing. Now we are going to see Grok function calling or tool call with the power of Llama 3. In this, we are going to create an AI application, create an API, and then integrate AI app and API together. So firstly, we are going to create API, then integrate that API with AI app, and finally create a user interface like this, where you can ask a question and the AI and API is going to work together to give us a response. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Grok function calling. It is super fast and it takes the application to the next level with the power of Llama 3. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step on how to create API, how to integrate that with AI application and create a user interface. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In this, first we are going to create API. This could be our own API, our own internal API. Then we have our AI app with the large language model Llama 3. So how can we integrate that both together? How can you integrate your own API with AI? First, conduct create hyphen and grok python equals 3.11 and then click enter. In this way, we are creating a virtual environment which doesn't distract or disturb other projects. Now we are going to activate grok virtual environment by typing conda activate grok. Next, pip install grok, gradio, requests and flask and then click enter. We are going to create API using flask. Flask is a Python package used to create microservice. In our case, API. Let's create a file called api.py and then open it. Inside the file, from flask, import flask request jsonify, then json. Now we are initializing the flask application. Next, we are going to create a function called get game score. This will automatically check for the team name and return the score for those teams. This could be your own data or database. If the user provides the team name is warriors, then it will get this data and send this to the large language model. This is very basic so that everyone can understand. Next, we are going to create an endpoint. Endpoint is nothing but a URL. In our case, it's slash score. Next, we are creating a function called score. Here, we are getting the team name and based on the team name, we are running the function that is get game score function that is here and returning the data based on the team name. Finally, we are going to start the application using app.run. That's it. Literally three bits of code and we have created a Flask API. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python api.py and then click enter. Now you can see the API is ready and it's running in this URL. So if I go to this URL, you'll see a page like this. But when we go to slash score and provide the team name, question mark team equals Lakers, then it's getting information from our API. If I change this team name to Warriors and gave the information about Warriors. So now the API is ready. Now we need to integrate this API with our AI application. Even in our terminal, we can see the log. We checked for Lakers and we checked for Warriors. Now we're going to keep this terminal running. Let's open a new terminal. Let's activate our Grok virtual environment, conda activate Grok. Let us export Grok API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from Grok, import Grok, then OS, JSON, request. Next, we are going to initialize Grok and get the Grok API key from the environment. Next, we are defining the model name that is Llama3 70 billion parameter model. Next, we are going to create a function called get game score. There we are going to mention the exact URL where we created our API and the team name as variable. Next, we are going to use get request to extract the data from the API and finally return the data. That's it. So this is where you integrate your AI application with your API. Now, next step, we are going to create a function called run conversation. There we are going to mention the list of messages. One is the system message. You are a function calling LLM and then user prompt. This is where we're going to ask a question. 
asking what is the score for Warriors or Lakers. Next, we need to define the tool, the tool definition. This is the tool which we have created and we need to tell the large language model what this tool can do. So after the messages, we are adding tools. Type function, we are mentioning the function name, that is the tool name, get game score. And the description is get the score for a given NBA game. And the only required field is team name. After this, we need to call the grok API. So response equals client.chat.completions.create. There we provide the model name, the messages. That is a prompt which we initialized earlier. Next, the list of tools. We are providing one tool, which is capable of getting the score for the NBA game. Tool choice, auto and max tokens. Next, we need to get the response and check if the tool call is initialized or not. So response message equals, then we're getting the message output and checking if a tool call is initialized. For example, when the user asks a question, give me score for warriors, then the Llama 3 Grok model is going to tell that I don't have the score for warriors, but I have a tool to find the answer for your question. That's when the function calling or the tool call is initiated. Then it's passed to the tool. That's when we run the function to get the response from the API to get the score. Then we will send the score back to the large language model and we'll get a final response. That's exactly what we're going to do here. So step one, we asked the large language model, what is the score? And the large language model is capable of calling a tool when required. So here the response will say, okay, call a tool because I need to get a score. So if there is a tool call, then we are going to call the function that is get game score. Finally, we are going to send that data back to the large language model. So the step four is to send the info back to the large language model for tool call in tool calls. Here we are going through each individual tool if there are multiple tools. Just because we have only one tool and the large language model asked to run one tool, this loop will run only one time. So we are getting the function name, that is get team score, getting the arguments, that is the team name, as you can see here. Then the function response is added to the messages. Next, that information will be sent to the large language model using the client.chat.completions.create function. And this messages will have all the history, including the latest score, which the user asks. Finally, we are returning the response. Now the main function is ready. Now the user is going to ask a question. That is user prompt. What is the score of the Golden State Warriors? Next, printing the response by calling the run conversation function. That's it. So as a quick overview, get game score is the tool. So that is a function calling our API. You define the function calling definition or the tool definition. So here we are telling the large language model what this tool can do and what is the required field. And we are asking the question to the large language model. Step number two, we are checking if a tool call is required for the question. If it is required, then we are running that get game score function and returning the response back to the large language model. And finally, we are giving an example question to test this function. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now we got the answer here. According to the latest game data, the Golden State Warriors played the Los Angeles Lakers and won with a score of 128-121. Now let's see the API. So here is the data and you can see the score 128 and 121. So that is correct. Even in our API console, we can see there's the API call has been initiated with the team name Golden State Warriors. This is exciting. Now we're going to add a user interface for this AI application. I modified the code slightly, imported Gradio as GR, then added the gr.interface function, which is going to call the Gradio interface function. One input that is text and one output that is text. Finally, interface.launch, that's it. Just by these two lines of code, we are able to create a user interface. Now I'm going to run this code. Remember, I'm keeping the API terminal running and in the other terminal, I'm going to type Python UI.py. That's where my UI code is. I'm going to click enter and here's the URL. Now I'm going to open this URL and here's the user interface. I'm going to ask the same question. What is the score for Golden State Warriors game? And click submit. This will automatically use the API 
through the function calling method. And finally, we get this answer in a split second. That's the power of Grok. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.